tech news. Bet you didn't expect that, of all things, from a tech news show, or you did. In which case, congrats. You can make basic correlations. That was the intro. Even though we are on the cusp of Threadripper's launch, today's main stories are all about Intel. The company has revealed the full specs for the remaining four products in their Core X series lineup, from the 12-core i9-7920X to the 18-core i9-7980XE. From a pure spec standpoint, it looks like AMD's comparable Threadripper parts have a slight edge with higher clock speeds and lower price across the board, along with 64 PCIe lanes to Intel's max of 44. But as we saw with Ryzen, better specs doesn't necessarily mean better performance, as most hardware and software is still better optimized for Intel CPUs on the whole. We'll find out for sure when the 7920X launches on August 28th, followed by the last three CPUs on September 25th. But that wasn't all the Intel that Intel dropped today. The chip giant also announced that their 8th gen core processors, codenamed Coffee Lake, will launch August 21st. Seems a little early to push out a new platform. Desktop KB Lake processors only just launched in January. This might make sense if Intel is doing now what they've done in the past, and this is a soft launch, with Coffee Lake-based notebooks and pre-built systems becoming available in the fall, with desktop chips launching later. But leaks of specs and roadmaps make it look like Intel is indeed launching the Coffee Lake Z370 desktop platform in Q3, with the lower-end Coffee Lake S platform, so that'll be notebooks and mobile devices, launching in Q1 2018. Jeez Louise, Intel. So in 2017, we've had KB Lake on Z270, Core X chips, Skylake X and KB Lake X on X299, and now we're gonna have Coffee Lake on Z370, all in one year. Hopefully Coffee Lake is worth getting excited about and not just a knee-jerk reaction to AMD actually putting out decent chips. And in our last bit of Intel news, SSDs are about to get bigger and longer. That sounds weird. The company has revealed its vision for a new form factor for solid state drives called the Ruler. It's long, skinny, and designed to fit into server racks in data centers, which would traditionally be filled with hard drives. But instead of maxing out that space with 10 gigabyte hard drives, a Ruler SSD could hold up to one petabyte of data itself. That's 1,000 terabytes, which is 1,000 gigabytes. So a 42U rack cage could hold 42 petabytes. That's one place AMD can't touch Intel, that's for sure. Time for quick bits. A Boston-based startup called Neurable has developed a modified HTC Vive headset that can sense brain activity and translate that into control of the virtual world, meaning you can control Neurable's game, in which you have telekinetic powers, just by thinking. So let's just take a moment and appreciate how awesome that's going to be. The Viking-themed mental illness simulator Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice was released yesterday and it's getting pretty rave reviews, although the permadeath mechanic is proving to be divisive. Everyone's stoked for Threadripper, but it does have at least one weakness. Sources have told Tom's Hardware that the X399 chipset does not support booting NVMe SSDs in a hardware RAID configuration. If you don't know what that means, you probably don't have to worry about it. But if you do, oh, time! Time to get mad. Gamers Nexus investigated the knock to a fan controversy. Some people thought there might be a performance difference between fans produced in China versus Taiwan, but turns out there's no difference. So, mystery solved. And this isn't really tech news, but it's super interesting. Researchers at Ohio State have developed a technology called tissue nanotransfection that involves injecting DNA into a patient's live skin cells, which then turn into stem cells that can then be directed to become any type of tissue in seconds. It could revolutionize medical treatment. It's kind of a big deal. So if you want all the details on that or any of today's news stories, can they can be found in the forum post linked in the description. I don't know if that sentence came out right, but. Wubba lubba dub dub, ha ha, it's my catchphrase or something. Ah, I need to work on my Rick impression, I'm sorry. Um, thanks for your submission, I wrote Something else, I, I don't really understand what I wrote anymore. Thanks for your submission, ZZ and Abe. That sounds like you guys could take a musical tour on the road or something. ZZ and Abe. Uh, hey, the rest of you, you want to send a hashtag NCXYODog? Do it on Twitter already. <laughs> guys, consider this your reminder that tomorrow, the brand new website for the NX Fusion, is that, 
whoops, it doesn't say it anywhere on here. Annex Fusion clothing line is launching. There will be a new collection with a bigger catalog of sick threads to choose from along with a big giveaway. Plus, Annex Fusion now has a sick new logo. It's right there. It's like an N and an X together. It also kind of looks like the infinity sign. There's so many different ways you can, you can interpret it. So make sure you stay tuned to NCIX social media for the official announcement of the launch and giveaway tomorrow, Wednesday, August 9th. Sick threads will abound. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I need to uh, get moving. We're moving studios again. I don't know if you knew that. But uh, this week is our last week in this studio. So you might have to say goodbye to the uh, Netlink icon. Although I think we're going to bring it over. But anyways, we're going to put up a moving vlog or something. So keep your eyes peeled. See you soon, my dudes. With the lower end Coffee Lake S platform launching in Q1 2018. <laughs>